Hello, this is Sherelle T. Martin with Empower to Thrive, where we empower to thrive financially in life and in business. And this week's financial empowerment tip is on how to create a business plan in six simple steps. A business plan is no easy task, right? It is the most important document that every small business owner should have, but it's also the one thing that every business owner doesn't have because the process to create it takes so long. But what if I told you that you could create your business plan in six easy steps? Shh, don't tell nobody. Seriously, you could create it in six easy easy step. A business plan only has six elements. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. Now yes, there's more steps and more areas to a business plan, but these six elements are what's going to get your business up and going. And these are the actual steps that are in the business plan. Sounds so simple, right? I know, but let me just show you. So the who. Who is just that? Who are you going to serve? You need to determine who your ideal client is, and where they're at. Are they a small business owner or not? What industry are they in if they're a small business owner? How much income do they make? One of the biggest mistakes that small business owners make is that you're trying to serve everyone, and you can't. What? What values do you provide to your clients? What services are you going to provide? This is where you need to get crystal clear on what makes you different from other companies that do essentially the same thing that you do. What makes you stand out? When? This step is so important in establishing how you're going to do manage your time, especially if you're starting your business part-time because you're still working a full-time job. This is also the step where you'll get to determine when your business is going to launch. You'll establish how long it's going to take to get your business up and off the ground, and then you'll create a timeline from there. Where? You've heard it all before, right? Location, location, location. Well, you want to be clear on where you're going to set your shop up at and make sure that it's an ideal location for your business, especially if you're a storefront business. This step is also where you set your goals for the future. Where will you be in in your business one year from now? How about three years from now? And so forth. Why? This is probably the most important question to answer. What is your why? What is your purpose for creating this business? There has to be a greater cause other than I just need to make more money or your business won't succeed. This is important because this reason why is what's going to fuel your passion and keep you going when when the going gets tough. Remember, it's not about you. And lastly, how? How would you how will you set all of this in motion? How will you get clients? How will you finance your business? How will this business affect your life? This is where you set up the plan to accomplish the previous five steps because without this step, your plan or your dream is simply that, just a plan or a dream. Now, I want to hear from you. Do you have a business plan? If so, how long did it take you to create it? What advice can you give others who need to create theirs? If you haven't created your yes, created yours yet, then tell us what's holding you back. We would love to hear from you. Share your comments and your success stories and learning points below and at our blog at EmpowerToThrive.com so the rest of the Empower to Thrive community can also benefit. Did you like this video? If so, please subscribe so that you can receive tips like this every single week and also share it with your friends, fans, and followers so that they too can benefit from these tips. And don't forget to visit our website at www.EmpowerToThrive.com and get your free startup success guide and budget bonus checklist. I think I said it backwards that time. Um, So get your bonus budgeting checklist and templates and other tools, tips, and resources that I only share in email. Now remember, in order to thrive financially, you must first push past your fears, excel in your ability, and soar to new heights. I look forward to talking to you next week. Take care and be empowered.